So today we're going to work on mounting the panoptic live scope system to our boat. Lots of things. I'm pretty finding out that we have to uh, make a new plate to hold it underneath the dash here. So we got some aluminum here. We're going to cut a piece out of that to make this black box fit properly on this plate over here. The plate's a little bit small for it. So in the meantime, we're doing that. Over here, we've already unwrapped unwrap the transducer here so we're assembling the transducer mounts and when we're done with that we're going to look at getting underneath the boat here we're going to pull this plug underneath here mount the transducer next to these other two transducers which are my garmin uh, transducer and my fishhawk transducer and we're going to need to pull maybe pull the cables all the way out to get this really big big transducer cable i think it's huge through that hole it's probably pretty close it's gonna to be a tough getting it all in there and back in one piece you have to make it a little bigger yeah the hard part is gonna be getting in here we're gonna to have to get in the boat and i'm gonna to have to go in here open this compartment here pull all the batteries and everything out of there so we can find the hole that's sealed up and break the seal on it and work through getting the cables in this in in the meantime when the plate's being finished we're gonna go up to the front of the boat and i'll show you that or we're gonna mount the plate for the black box and when I get up in there, I'll show you how that is. So we're gonna get out working on this stuff. You know, it's add a live feed, uh, real-time system to the boat so we can three-dimensionally see exactly where things are right at that second underneath the boat. So it's worth the money, we think. I think it's gonna enhance our fish catching ability and we're pretty excited. And Garmin makes the best live scan, live feed system out there. So we're pretty excited. So we'll get back to you. So got the plate marked out here where we're gonna cut this plate. Along this edge here, you can see the scoring. It's gonna fit over just like that. So once it gets cut, we'll clean it all up to get all the dirt off it. It's aluminum, so it'll fit perfectly on this aluminum plate over here. Gonna use this all here with a metal blade, and here comes the noise. Cuts are almost done. Then we'll move on to those two cuts. Nice. Good. So we've got the plate cleaned up. We're getting ready to drill some holes in this aluminum plate so the black box will fit over this plate. So that's our plan. And right, we'll be got our great rigid drill here. You're done. The thing's gonna happen when you're doing this, so read the instructions thoroughly, work through the process, don't mount anything onto your boat or move too, too much stuff around until you make sure everything's there. Then I'm gonna have to do things twice, and if you need any real help with it, the Garmin's got some of the best customer service out there, and they will make sure that you get the help you need. So always reach out to them. Yep, heavy duty transfer mount hardware here. We want to make sure the thing gets in there and gets in the right place and doesn't have the ability to move around at all so pretty heavy duty stainless uh, with the nylocks on it one at a time it's going to be a tight fit but we have plenty of room on the plate underneath to get it mounted in there so lots of instructions um for different types of hookups as far as we want to do it you know a trolling motor possibly with a different set of uh, rings and mounting hardware or we're doing transom mount we got rings, uh, closures for network cable and for the power cable and stuff. It's a nice type of waterproof system we use for uh, the Garmin system here. So it'll be going underneath here, but before we put it underneath, we're going to get in the boat and start working on the batteries and out like we talked about. So we'll get back to it. So we're under the boat now, trying to see this bracket how it's going to fit on my boat bracket here. It looks like it's just going to be too tight. We're going to miss this far left hole. So what we're going to do, we've got three other holes on here we're going to look at. Here, here, and here. So we're going to slide a little bit to the left to give some room between the two uh, transducers. And these three holes here should be plenty enough, strong enough, with stainless steel bolts and um, nylocks to hold the thing into place where we need it to be. So it's going to run at a level probably pretty close to this. Skimming right under the boat here. Also notice how tight things are here between my boat trailer and the transducer plate there. So you got to be really careful when you're getting on and off and 
uh, you know where your stuff's at all the time. If you break, start breaking any of these things off or try to go up on shore, hit rocks or any of these things, you just bust it off, you know. It's a $1,500 system right here. You know, that's another $2,000 there, another $800 here. So you can lose a whole lot of money pretty quick if you're not careful. So we want to make sure we do it right. So it's a narrow, narrow distance here. We really got to be careful with that. So, but it looks like we're going to clear it just fine like these ones. But, you know, got to consider all things when we put things together. We'll measure it, look at it three or four times, and then do the fewest amount of holes and set up as possible. So we'll get on with it. We're getting ready to mark the holes to drill them for the mounting bracket here. So there's what it looks like. It's just slightly down uh, from the bottom of the boat. Here we're marking it towards it's just about the same way. Right about there. So holes are marked. They're going to be marked here. And we'll get started with the installation. So this is where we decided to go ahead and drill the holes for the bracket. Here I'm starting with a really small drill bit to make the pilot holes. And then I'm going to work for a little bit drill, larger bit to get the exact size hole we need. I'm drilling the holes right in the middle of these slots. These slots represent uh, the bracket slots. So it gives us a vertical movement. Uh, and maybe just enough vertical movement to move the transducer up or down and make it fit just perfectly. So that's what we're going to do next is finish this last hole and punch the bigger hole through it and get it mounted. Just get all the way across. I start really slow to get a, a bite into the metal here. We start speeding up a little bit. Get the hole started. I'm change the gears on this thing. Stepped up on two sizes up on the drill bit. Start off slow again here. Keep level, let's get it punched out. There we go. Quick and easy. There we go, number three. So we're under the belt here now. We're at the point where we drilled our holes here for our transducer mount. We need to take out this plug, which is a hole that we uh, want to run the cable through. And then we can plug back up to keep the water from getting in. So all my transducer cables go through here. I'm going to take these three screws out. And I'll put you on the battery box on the inside of my boat. Then we'll go in there, uh, separate the wires, tape them down, and then pull the batteries out and do the next step. So, one. I'll turn the torque shutting really far down on the screwdriver, so powerful. Down to like seven or eight to make sure I'm not pulling too hard on these things. Here's three. This thing off without hurting ourselves. Here's that silicone cracking up there, finally. Things gotta be really tightly silicone in there to keep the water out. So let me get under here and this edge if I can. Nope. I did cut that, but I still this one. <laughs> he wasn't part of our team. <laughs> oh, not one Richard per team. He worked against us. So we can't trust his selection of screwdrivers. Team Dingling. <laughs> see, that's a big, see that big hole there? Yeah. That's a pretty, right. oh. I'm not sure if we're going to get that through there. What are you thinking? Oh. We can't make it much bigger because this thing won't fit right. Hmm. We'll have to come from the other way. Well, I don't know. Okay, here's our conundrum. This plug is about the, exactly the same measurement as this hole here where this fits into. There's no way this is getting through there. This is the standard hole they put in the boat to put all the transducers through. They line up here, it screws in, we silicone this in. So there's no way to do that. We have a couple of possibilities. We're going to pull these cables out, maybe run a Dremel up in these holders, and we'll oblong it a little bit and see if we can fit this through there. If that doesn't seem like it's going to work, we'll have to try and find a bigger hole plug and see if we can actually drill a bigger hole there all together which is going to be really tough as it is so all kinds of problems you might want to consider before you start doing this make sure you have a, at least an inch and a you know quarter or bigger hole with the plug in it where all your transducers fit through so anyway that's where we're at thanks trying to get this flat against here so we may have to alter this thing so we can flatten it down left to right this way so this one will go all the way in here like this and that's the problem we're having there and this one's going to have to go something like that it's not going to be tight enough so we're going to have to take this and cut this here to lay this down flat right there so once this is flat in here we can do it so last video we looked at we had a problem where the 
hole we made was too big to put the uh, cap back on so what we ended up doing is we went ahead and built a metal cap to go outside the plastic cap move these screws outward a little bit of bigger screw and we pressed it all together with the cords in there all the way around and put tons of silicone on there to keep it from having any leakage problems and it's pretty much stuck in there really well so that's what it looks like from the outside I will show you on the inside here in a second and we'll move on to the next part of the installation that was kind of a bear but one of my buddies came through with a good idea so good deal all right well down here you can see what we've looks like this whole thing Let me show you. right up in here you have all the cords coming through got a really nice tight seal on it there and tons of silicone it's good to go we have our wires ran all the way through coming out here so this is where we're going to be putting our our life scope uh, and our regular um, transducer cables are going to run all the way to the side of the boat over there and run up the entire side of the boat back up to the front and tie into the main Garmin sonar system. And the other one is part of our, our fish hawk, which is a great thing. It helps us uh, figure out temperature and depth and speed, and that thing's going to run from there all the way over here, all the way up along this rail, all the way over there. So that's the plan. We're gonna get at it. We're running the cables back up this side all the way down that we said. So we've got them attached. Carol's got them over there. We're pulling and pushing them through so we can run them all the way up that side. I have to put an extension on here. We'll show you about that in a minute. This cable's finished. We already had an extension on it, which is our main sonar cable. We're just round it up. We're gonna shove it down in here where it's out of the way. So that's our intention. All right, we'll get back at it. So the main cable without an extension reaches from the back of the boat to here. We have to get all the way to the front corner and under the dash and up. So I bought a 10 foot extension for this live scan here. And we're going to go ahead and put it in, hook it up so it reaches where it needs to go. And you can see where a lot of the cables are already coming in. All the zip ties going back from here all the way to the back. Zip tie everything, make sure everything stays up out of the way. We'll get it. Great. So our live scan is too big to fit through with all these cables here. It's kind of like we had the back. With a little bit bigger hole, I'm going to pull all these cables off for our main unit here. Stick them back down the hole, fish it through first, and everything should come up here nice and tight. So getting closer to getting it done. Hopefully in the next 20, 30 minutes. So. Always longer <laughs> than the directions. Yeah, for directions sake. You can do this in five minutes. You do this in like five or six hours if you're lucky. <laughs> <laughs> all right, we'll be back at you. Well, we've got everything down to this point. Now I'm just trying to figure out where this plugs in. Because we've got our two network connections. Maybe there's an adapter from that to that. Oh, you know what? What is that, Mr. Mendenhall? I think this plugs into the black box that we don't have installed yet. That's one thing I forgot. It's in the um, box. I'm thinking we should check the, the box. box. Yeah, I'm thinking this ain't, this ain't gonna directions. fit. Because, uh, <laughs> Got so excited and now, uh, Are you yeah. a square peg in a round hole? I am, because these are network, our 12 pin, our, our power here, and so, yeah. Yeah. We got the black box. That's why we paid the extra money to get the extra special one. We need one. the black box. And I guess we get my... Everyone should have a black box. And I have it right down there, actually. The black box is not oh, stolen yet. All right. So here is the magic box we forgot about. This is really what actually drives the whole system is why it costs so much more than just a regular transducer. So this is where that XDCR cable, which is connected to the transducer in the back of the boat, comes to here. We have a network cable that looks like this. And, and the other end of that network cable connects into this because all their networks run on RJ45. So I'm not quite sure why they have this 810 pen thing here and then RJ45 on this end, but maybe it's more universal that way or somehow. Then the last thing we'll have here is going to be our power cable, which is going to fit right in here. And a power, I have a fuse relay underneath here, so we can actually tie everything in the fuse box under there, and it'll be really easy to do this part. So we're going to put all these things together and start feeding the wires up. We need to go and plug them all right back into our, our main uh, GPS sonar unit uh, box here. So everything's going to tie right into here from here to there. It's only going to go about three feet, so we should have plenty of room to get it done. We're going to run the dash trying to get this all together, so we'll get back to it when we get closer. We're 
we're at the point where we need to get the power set up here so i've got these blade points here that are all waterproof and they can be uh, we can use a heat gun over here to shrink the, the tube around it so let's go ahead and put one on the red one here makes it more waterproof and more likely not to let's see if it'll fit this one here it's a tight fit oh there it goes okay so that one slipped on there Got the clip on my other hand. Hands blue, so we're gonna pick another blue here. All right, you. Let's make sure I get it just right. Should fit right about there. Stay in there. there we go. Check it for tightness. Here we go. I'll heat shrink that one next. Now we take the heat gun, fire it up. And start shrinking this stuff down. That one's good. That one's good. Okay. Going to the dash, we'll hook this up and we'll be back to you with the final uh, hookup of all the different cables and all their spots and we'll try to turn it on and see what happens. Woohoo! I got a free one right there. Free okay. Willie? Yep, I do have free slots. So. All right. So we're working on getting the last two connectors in here to plug it into the electrical uh, box that we have in here. So I'll show you a picture of that really quick because there it is. There it is. There's a little fuse box up there. There's a negative power bus. So I'm going to plug these in and we should be able to have all the power we need. We've got everything else plugged in here nicely except for the power cord. And we'll plug it in at the very top. We'll plug everything in and then we'll retie all the rest of this here. This is tied up all the way to the corner, I don't know. But I need to pull back over to here and tie everything. All the excess over here. Actually. Alright, so we got all our cables here. Start putting them where they go here. We got our power cable here. Let's get that. We have a network cable here. I can grab that from here. We'll plug that in right here. Like that. Oh, come on now. Don't be stubborn now. And then we go to 12 pin sonar cable. 12 pin sonar cable. I can't see which way it goes in, but maybe just like that. Get it all buttoned down. Get it all in. Final 12, our final network cable, which is going to be plugged in right here. There we go, flip it over, slide it in, and tighten it down. Yeah. So everything's tight, double check. The cable stay here. All right, so now I can turn this around straight. Let's set it up here. Turn it out straight here. Feed all the excess back underneath. Don't leave it out here anymore. And I'll button all this down up here later. Underneath, it's got wire sticking out everywhere. <laughs> there, that worked good. All right, last thing to do would be to fire it up and uh, see if it works. So we're gonna do that next. All right. Get our Garmin mounted here. I'm sure if I should run it without being in water. <laughs> Maybe we should read the directions. Yeah, we'll go back and read the directions first, and then if it says okay, we're going to fire it up. Otherwise, we'll check it out late next time. All right. All right. Got to reconnect all the battery stuff that we had disconnected earlier. Otherwise, we'll have no power to the unit. So here's the battery box that's left. I got negative cables, bag, <laughs> other cable. Look at the water <laughs> cables. There's got four electric downriggers and... 15 other electric devices running off these two batteries and battery chargers and everything else. So it's quite a thing, but I've got it semi-organized, so I think it'll work out. All right. So now it's transferring data and you have your Trying to get to app on there. Go to settings, turn on my Wi-Fi, please. 
So it synced with the plotter. It went under sync with plotter and it finished doing the first transfer. Mm -hmm. And now it's on another one. Yeah, this is Active Captain stuff, which is some other things they use for uh, communication with uh, using other people's maps and other type of things with uh, their uh, community of uh, fishermen. Black box is not oh, stolen yet. You? See it down there? Oh, That's where it goes. The fancy black box. I hope we got enough cable to go from there. Woohoo! <laughs>